Fort Lauderdale is a gorgeous mix of stunning scenery, vibrant attractions, and kid-friendly activities, and it will appeal to couples, families, and solo travelers alike. The area is studded with fantastic beaches and lazy canals, and you can walk along the promenade at the beachfront and take in some of the prettiest views in the region. As you would expect in sunny Florida, the weather means a massive range of outdoor attractions here, and one of the best things to do is wander around the city at your leisure. Today Fort Lauderdale has become a sophisticated urban destination. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Fort Lauderdale so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Fort Lauderdale Beaches. Fort Lauderdale Beaches lie at the heart of the tourist area in Fort Lauderdale. The Fort Lauderdale Beach area is now more sedate but still an entertaining stretch of sand and one of the best beaches in Florida. Knowing where to go to make the most of Fort Lauderdale's 7 miles of beach is essential. Located just south of where the famous Las Olas Boulevard intersects with Florida State Road A1A, this incredible stretch of sand has one of the best features of any beach in Fort Lauderdale, extensive parking. At number 9 is the Dr. Von D. Mazzella Johnson State Park. This wonderful state park features a 2.5-mile stretch of beach on the Atlantic Ocean. It's an ideal place to set up your beach chairs and umbrella and gaze at the ocean. The state park's excellent launch facilities are among the best places to get your boat in the water. This is due to the park's proximity to Port Everglades Inlet, access to the Atlantic Ocean is fast and easy. Dr. Von D. Mazzella Johnson State Park is also a local birding hotspot. The keen observer can spot warblers, sparrows, pelicans, and shorebirds. At number 8, Los Olas Boulevard. Los Olas Boulevard stretches from downtown Fort Lauderdale to the ocean and is the place to see and be seen. Here, you'll find plenty of tourist attractions and things to do, including shopping at more than 100 stores and restaurants. Some of Fort Lauderdale's best stores include high-end clothing shops, art galleries, and jewelry stores. Los Olas Boulevard is also a popular place to visit for dining, the street is packed with cafes and restaurants, many with patios. A popular pastime is to grab a prime seat on a comfy patio and prepare to engage in serious people watching. At number 7, Bonnet House Museum and Gardens. Bonnet House Museum and Gardens combines art, architecture, history, and ecology. Frederick Clay Bartlett and built in 1920 designed the historic house. On display are collections of art and personal treasures. The estate covered 36 acres and was once the winter retreat of the Birch slash Bartlett family. The surrounding grounds of the estate remain a virtual oasis of coastal wilderness, nestled amid the commercial development of the Fort Lauderdale beachfront. At number 6 in our list, Stranahan House Museum. Ohio businessman and trader Frank Stranahan built this Pine Pioneer's home in 1901, where he operated his barge ferry business. It was expanded several times over the years and now features wide verandas, bay windows, a Victorian parlor, and tropical gardens. Guided tours showcase period Victorian furniture and decorative pieces throughout the house. Stranahan House was built to serve as a trading post, as the post office, community center, and town hall, and has been used at different times as a restaurant and boarding house. At number 5, Hugh Taylor Birch State Park. This state park was a gift from Hugh Taylor Birch to residents of Florida. His former estate is a 180-acre park between the Intracoastal Waterway and the Atlantic Ocean. This green space is a welcome oasis, perfect for a quiet walk on the trails or an afternoon picnic. Canoes are available for rent, or bring your stand-up paddleboard and head onto the freshwater lagoon to view the wildlife or do some fishing. 
The park has beach access and paved trails for cycling and rollerblading. At number 4, NSU Art Museum. The NSU Art Museum in Fort Lauderdale is a modern, unique three-story building in the city's upscale Las Olas neighborhood. Its permanent collections feature more than 7,000 works, including significant exhibits focusing on the work of multicultural and female artists, Latin American and Cuban art, and African and Oceanic tribal arts. The NSU Art Museum has recently acquired over 100 items from the collection of David Horvitz and Francie Bishop Good. At number 3 in our list, Everglades Holiday Park. Everglades Holiday Park has gained fame in recent years as the frequent set of Animal Planet's Gator Boys, and now features daily live gator shows hosted by cast members. The shows are not only entertaining staff members introduce visitors to the world of the Everglades' most notorious residents and educate the audience about the habitat and lives of the alligators. The park also runs airboat tours of the surrounding wetlands, where you will learn about the ecosystem's plants and animals unique to the Everglades. At number 2, Museum of Discovery and Science. The Museum of Discovery and Science is home to permanent and rotating exhibits and programs that will entertain and educate the whole family. You can meet dinosaurs and look at real fossils in the prehistoric Florida exhibit or explore present-day Florida's ecosystems. The Storm Center and the Wall of Wind explore hurricanes and their effect on all aspects of life. Immersive experiences include the Everglades Airboat Adventure and a variety of nature and feature films at the IMAX Theater. Check out the number one places in our list, Fort Lauderdale River Walk. The Fort Lauderdale River Walk is well worth seeking out if you have the time. Off the traditional tourist route, this sedate and lovely 2.5-mile-long trail follows the new river as it moves towards the ocean past historic homes and condos. The river walk passes by 10 parks along its route, each with its attractions. Some have beautiful gardens, and others have workout stations and playground structures for the kids. The river walk has existed for over 30 years and has been a gathering spot for locals and tourists alike. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Fort Lauderdale. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.